Welcome back to Cryptos R Us. I am George. We're all George. So I'm outside once again enjoying this weather, but I know you guys are all enjoying what's going on in crypto land right now. As I'm filming this, Bitcoin is 65.5. Yeah, that's right, 65.5 this morning. I think we're still at 63. So Bitcoin is on an unstoppable run right now. And it's not just Bitcoin, Ethereum is going up, Solana is going up, the memes like Pepe and Bonk, they're going crazy. We got a really good recovery going on right now, right? And think about it, just three days ago, the Crypto Greed and Fear Index measured extreme fear. Extreme fear. Three days ago, now it's greed. How fast sentiment changes, how fast the market changes, this is why I mean, I've seen this. I've seen this so many times. And yes, even though when we go through the bad times, I feel it too. And I know a lot of you guys do. But I know, I know we're, we're going to get through it. And we're going to get back to our previous levels and make a new high. Every single time. Every single time, right? So what did I say a couple days ago or maybe yesterday? I said that the next level after breaking 63.7, Probably about 67,000. And I would not be surprised to see us there tonight or tomorrow. And after that, we're basically back to 70,000, right? Um, I think, I really think I've said this already. I really think that there's something going on right now that will carry Bitcoin to new highs, probably around 74, 75,000 before the Bitcoin conference next week. I think this is all planned right now. <laughs> it's perfect timing. We got so many things happening, right? Think about the Ethereum ETF approval and it will be listed. Well, day three funds will be listing next week, Tuesday, two days before the Bitcoin conference. Is that a coincidence? No, that is planned for sure, right? So we have that to look forward to a big catalyst. Billions will be flowing in. And right now, billions upon billions are flowing into Bitcoin spot ETFs. Today alone, BlackRock has over 200 million inflow 200 million in a single day that doesn't count all the other funds tomorrow by the time we tally it up maybe 300 400 million worth of inflows it's absolutely massive right now all the fud that we had around germany is over the fud around mount gox seems to be overblown creditors are getting back their bitcoin but there's not a whole lot of selling pressure right now Everyone's just really just maintaining what they have. You don't see the same kind of sell pressure we did when Germany was selling. Oh, you know, when they weren't selling OTC, they were selling on the spot market, and you're just not seeing that. What is that noise? I, there's just there's people outside yelling. <laughs> I don't know where, but all of a sudden I hear a lot of noise. But anyways, um, we're just not seeing that. Like with with the uh, Mount Gox, it's just that's it's just not the same, right? And here's the interesting thing with the Coinbase Coinbase Premium at a three month high, that shows you that the buying is happening right now, right? We see it with the ETFs with the institutions, but even retail, you know, Coinbase is where everyone goes, right? The premium is at a three month high right now. So that tells you a lot of retail investors, a lot of long-term holders are buying, desaying, right? And same thing with institutions. Everyone is buying. This is the time to be loading up. This is when you're supposed to load up. When we had these dips, we just had it, right? We just had it. When we dip down to 53, 54, that's when you're supposed to pick up. And I know a lot of you guys have. A lot of you guys didn't. A lot of you guys in the live chat and in the comments you know, got really bearish, saying that we're gonna go lower to the 40s or 30s or whatever. I'm like, what, what? Um, even if it did, even, even, even if it did, like Bitcoin fell to 40s or 30s. You know, the strategy doesn't change. Again, we have seen this before in previous cycles, right? We see catastrophic drops, 20, 25, 30, 40% drops in bull runs. And then what happens? We get a V-shaped recovery and continue forward just like what we're seeing now, right? But this build up to next week, we got the ETH spot ETFs coming out and also Trump at the Bitcoin conference. You know he's going there to announce some big things, right? 
it's the Bitcoin conference. It's not going to be a normal rally. Of course, he's going to say his usual things and cheer people, you know, get people to cheer him on. But he's at a Bitcoin conference. He is pro Bitcoin. His VP is pro Bitcoin, pro crypto, right? I don't think that selection was by accident. So he's probably going to announce some big things. That's why I think next by next week we're going to see Bitcoin at all time high because it's going to make him and his appearance more significant with have more weight, right? I bet he's going to say something around, you know, self custody, how important that is. Maybe he says, hey, CFTC is going to be the if he become president, CFTC will be the the governing agency, not the SEC for crypto. Um, we know that CFTC recently came out and said some very bullish things about how most crypto are not securities and commodities. You know, that could be a thing. Mining. Maybe he talks about mining and he wants to make America the, the Bitcoin hub for miners. It's already like that already. A lot of miners have moved to Texas. Um, so maybe he, he's going to say something about that. He wants more miners to come in. There'll be more tax incentives or more more programs or whatever to make miners more comfortable and want to come to America and stay in America. And, and maybe he even goes more drastic and talks about how the USD, right? Or maybe he talks about inflation, USD, and how Powell has not been doing a good job and Janet Yellen has not been a good job. And maybe, you know, the U.S. should think about backing the U.S. dollar with Bitcoin. Think about something drastic like that, even though it may never happen under his his presidency if he becomes president once again but still just him announcing that as i as an idea also as an alternative to what we have now which is usd is not backed by anything zero not backed by gold not backed by anything so even a notion of that coming out would be absolutely crazy right so i expect him to make some crazy announcements so a lot of people are looking forward to that a lot of people have been asking me for tickets unfortunately they're still kind of high but, you know, I think uh, all the enthusiasm is back, right? And, of course, Larry Fink. I mean, enough about Larry Fink, but, you know, BlackRock continues to buy and buy and buy. His, his endorsement video yesterday was about as bullish as it can be. And when he talks, you know, there's a lot of figureheads on CNBC, but when he talks, other people listen. Michael Dell listens, Sailor listens, everyone listens, right? Um so yeah it's just super super bullish guys super bullish indeed it's not just bitcoin we know ethereum is coming up the eth you know the eth spot etfs i think will drive ethereum much higher than where where it is now it's coming close to four thousand it could be driven to forty five hundred five thousand in no time soul is coming up above 160 really really hot still got a lot of meme activity you got a lot of activity overall soul is kicking in high gear and then you got a lot of meme coins like pepe and bonk that are coming up and you got some of my uh, other favorites um that are coming up as well i mean the entire market is coming up i know a lot of alts are still down 30 40 50 percent from their high in, in march but just wait. Once the momentum comes back, when the Bitcoin is going close to or above seventy thousand again, that money is gonna flow into the alt, and we are gonna see a resurgence once again with all things alts too. So it's not just Bitcoin, but I think Bitcoin, of course, go lead the way. I've always said that. That's why I've never said to be underweight in Bitcoin. You always have to have a good amount of Bitcoin in your portfolio for that strength and the growth. And I'm just super, 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 super excited, guys. That's about it. I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow, usual time. But enjoy your night tonight. It'll be interesting to see where Bitcoin heads to by tomorrow morning. Smash the like, subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye-bye.